Good morning, children of God. It's me, Miss Patty. Hey, do any of you guys know what this is? It's an extension cord, right? And you can use it to plug things in when their cord won't quite reach. Like if you want to have a lamp in the middle of the wall and the plug is the whole way on the other side of the wall. Or if you have a printer, but your plug's on this wall. Or uh, anything you want to plug in, right? Well, this reminds me of what's happening in today's gospel lesson. You know, today we're going to talk about what Jesus did to stay plugged in to his energy source. That's God. All right, so here's the story. At the beginning of today's gospel lesson, Jesus was worshiping in the synagogue and he got all filled up with God's love and healing power. And so after synagogue, Jesus went to his friend Simon's house and Simon's mother-in-law lived there with that family and she wasn't feeling right. No. Not feeling right is kind of an understatement. She was really, really not feeling right. As a matter of fact, she was feeling really, really sick. She was in bed with a high fever. And Jesus went straight away. And our gospel lesson says that he gave her his hand. That he lifted her up. And that she was all better then. And then she got up and she was so full of the healing power of God and the love of God that she had received from Jesus that she could go about serving. That was her way of giving back some of the love and the healing power that Jesus had given her. And, you know, after that and after he ate, there were more and more and more people that came to be healed by Jesus. They were sick and they were injured and some of them just oh, had such problems. And all of them, all of them were healed by Jesus until Jesus loved and healed and loved and healed and loved and healed all these people that he got tired and he needed a break. So he went away from the crowd and he rested and he prayed. And after that, he was able to go on to other places and keep healing and keep loving because he had filled up his tank. He had plugged in to that power source, God and God's love by praying. I think that's really cool. I like the fact that Jesus worshiped and got filled up with God's love. I like the fact that he prayed and got filled up with God's love so that he could continue to help others because we can too. You see, boys and girls, when we worship and we pray, it fills us up too so that we can use our hands to share God's love with others. And that's the really, really good news of the gospel today. So, it's time to pray. Are you ready? It's a repeat after me prayer. So let's go. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus who received your healing love and passed it on to others so that we could learn how to do that too. In Jesus' name we pray, and all God's kids, that's you, said amen. Praise Jesus, children. I'll see you next week.